This is a World Cup final. The pressure on Bullard is immense. This lucky comes in again. It's a great shot. shot now. It's a great shot. As he turns him up, he's out. Well, he's out. Congratulations, Australia. Unbelievable. Absolutely awesome. brilliant performance. Well done to you. Well deserved. It was a, a case of who brought the game on the day. The Australians brought the game on the day. Probably one of the best experience of my life, going to South Africa and playing. It was really crazy when like, you started thinking about it, knowing that you're playing for your country when you're only 12 years old. It's mind-blowing, like, it's, you can't really describe it. It's like, look at me, I'm wearing an Australian jersey. Like, oh, you just, not many people get to say that. I was 10 and I was the youngest player to ever play for Australia. As well as play the sport, meet new people, we got to see the culture of South Africa and some of the sites and different things as well. So I've now got friends all over the world. It happens every three years. So Worlds was uh, 2012, I think it was. You had to make the state side and when we were playing state, there was um, selectors watching our games. And then from playing state, we got picked to represent Australia. So the next juniors will be coming up next year, 2000, what's that, 2015. So yeah, it's, it's coming up close. I'm going to try and make the state side this year and then when that finishes, I'm going to just train hard, work hard so I can make the Australian team next year. At first, my friends told me about indoor cricket. I thought I should give it a shot and it turned out I really liked it. It was end of outdoor season and it came up to winter and I still wanted to keep my cricket skills going. So a friend of mine who I'd always played cricket with, she was a girl, so I'd done all my rep stuff with outdoor with her. She and I thought, oh, what the hell, we'll just go trial for indoor, play Friday night, see what it's like. And then from there, the owner of the centre, she's like, oh, you should go to Queensland trials. You'll, find, you'll have it fun, we need more girls playing. And it just went from there. I was pretty scared at the start. I wasn't used to being so close to a ball. But it was so nice. Everyone, the kids, they were so nice, they were so friendly. In indoor, you have to be quick between the wickets, so it helps in the outdoor and back them up. And like reflexes when you're feeling up close, and the outdoor, like when you feel like really close, you've got good reflexes. When you're batting, like if you get out, you're not like have to sit down for the rest of the day. You can just keep going, and you're not allowed to bowl like as wide and stuff in indoor. So in the outdoor, it helps you to be more accurate. The nets, like, it's more fun because you can, like, jump into them, stop the ball and, like, dive into them and everything. Just the weather, it's just good because you can just play any time you want. Yeah, don't have to put on pads and all that. And, well, I like just being in, in the action, nice and close. Knowing that Michael Clark played indoor cricket when he was younger and now he's playing for Australia in the outdoor team makes me, like, realise I could do the same as what he did. It shows that People that play indoor can be very good at outdoor too. Get as far as you can indoor and you can get to a lot of different places and explore the world. Start at a local club and then like build your way up throughout like state and then you get looked at in the world team. It's a clear pathway to get there. There's only one team to get straight there. If you really want something, you'll work towards it. So just have the right attitude and the right dedication, I suppose.